You're watching a Kevic production tutorial, and I, Kevic, will be walking you through to show you how to connect to a World of Warcraft private server. Alright, if you've never played World of Warcraft before, I'm sure you've heard of it. It's also pronounced WOW for the acronym. Also, if you've never played, I would recommend starting out on a private server. It's easy to start out on, it's fun to start out on, and it's free. That's right, free of charge. Alright, in this situation, I'm going to be using my favorite private server, WOWBEES. I've been playing on it for two years now. I would definitely consider it the most stable, and I'm also a GM on it, GM Kevic. You can look me up, you can ask me any questions, message me on the forums, I'm there for your help. Alright, so go ahead and open up your internet browser. I would highly recommend Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, something that's stable or user defined. www.wowbees.com is the homepage. Go ahead and navigate to it. You'll see a create account button on the left and a create account tab on the right. Go ahead and click one of them. You gotta create your account. Enter your info here. Whatever info you want. Just gotta be username and password. You wanna put your real email here. The reason why you wanna put your real email is because we have an awesome support system where we send in a support ticket, but you enter your email and your account with your support ticket so we can attach it to your registered email and account. The reason why we do this is not to bash on you, it's actually to protect your password and your account itself. So please support that, that's, that's for your good. So go ahead and click create game account. If all is good, it'll say account. Your account name has been successfully created. Please wait three minutes to be activated. So in this time, I'm gonna explain voting. Now, I'm gonna say right now, you do not have to vote, but there is two importances. One is for us, one is for you. Voting helps the population of the server. It makes the community of the server. People see us in the top 10 and the number ones and the number twos, and they click on us and they stay here and they like it. That's what makes our community, our community. So that's one also for you and us. Two, we have a vote panel where you can buy rewards with your voting points because you get vote points for all you vote. Also, if you vote every day, you will be randomly sent a donation reward from the owner himself. He will, he will see you in the database voting every day and he'll send one to you and they will be announced. So you can go ahead and do that if you want, but it's almost three minutes, so I'm gonna show you how to connect. All right, we have something not many private servers have. Actually, probably none, but we do. We have a private server client, and this is so you don't have to go through your directory and manually change your stuff. So you can go ahead and download that. For some computers, it doesn't work, and that's not our fault. That's actually Windows' fault. Not to bash on Windows, but yeah, some computers don't have the full service pack and can't get DirectX 9. But go ahead and download that, and you can check to see if it works. The icon looks exactly like this. You're gonna wanna go ahead and open it. You'll see our, our, we got our homepage layout here, and we have a private WoW button and a retail WoW button. Now this is awesome for retail players because if they wanna take a break, they can just click on private WoW and be on WoWbees. And if we wanna go back to retail, they can click on retail and be there. Now if you don't see this or if you get an error, it's, it's probably a DirectX problem, not ours, but I'll show you how to do it manually. Go ahead and go to my computer and go to your World of Warcraft directory. Most of the times it's in local pro, local disk, which is C for me, program files, and then World of Warcraft. Mine's a little bit deeper, but... All right, you're at your directory. Go to the data folder, and then you'll see it EN, and then your country or origin here, US for me, and you wanna find a realmless.wtf folder. Right click it, and click open with, and you might have to choose a program here, but you're going to want to look for Notepad. My Notepad's right at the top of the recommended programs. So open it. Now if you just download this or you play retail, you'll see four lines here. You might want to copy the four lines and remember them in case you want to go back to retail WoW. But erase all of it for WoWbees and set realm list space wowbees.no-ip.org. Save it close it and then there's one more step you do not want to open with your launcher that the launcher is actually the primary opening and it what it does 
is that it automatically opens that tab you get before the actual WoW opens where you get the news and stuff. You don't want that because that can patch up sometimes when you don't want to patch up. Speaking of which, you want to make sure you're on the same patch as what we support. That'll be on the forums, it'll be on the create account page, it'll might, yeah, it'll be on the home page too. So go ahead and look for, instead of launcher, you'll see a wow.exe in your World of Warcraft directory. That is what opens up WoW without going to the launcher. So you're going to want to create a shortcut and put that on your desktop. If you already have a shortcut to WoW on your desktop, it's probably the launcher, so you may want to replace it with wow.exe. So to test this out, we're going to open up wow.exe. I'm on my video recorder, so this will take a little bit, so please excuse this intermission. Alright, so I've entered my info, and I've logged in to my account, and as you see here, we have a lot of realms to choose from. Now, you might want to stare at this screen for a couple minutes and decide, because they're all very different. There's Fun Realm, there's Blizz like there's Battlegrounds, and there's a lot you can do, so you might want to decide on that now. So I'm going to click Fun Realm because that's the realm I started on. It's also the realm I'm a GM on. Alright, so here you are. You're on a World of Warcraft private server for free. Go ahead and have fun. Thank you for watching my video. Please rate and subscribe if you will.